What? What's for breakfast today, you ask? Today we're having Kellogg's multi-grain choco ladoos, which these days Kellogg's has now collaborated with Hershey's Chocolate out here in India. And we're not just going to be having any choco ladoos, we're going to be having Hershey's Chocolate ladoos. Plus, they're multi-grain and they're more healthy than the than the chocolate ladoos that I used to eat before. So it's not just going to be good taste; it's also going to be healthy. And what else is for breakfast today? You ask. We're having our fat as fuck, motherfuckerly grapefruit that we harvested two days ago, and it's been lying in the fridge and getting chilled out and cold and you guys this is our grapefruit review video so this is what our grapefruit looks like after cutting it and before eating it it looks like a whole part of it is actually just skin and there isn't much fruit inside of it but then i haven't checked it yet and this is supposed to be a pink grapefruit variety and you can see that it sort of turned pink pink but it didn't turn pink all the way yet anyway so uh the rest i can only say after we eat it and then we'll be i'll be like telling you how great our breakfast was today so you guys this is the review of my breakfast today okay so first of all this is literally how thick the grapefruit skin was you guys the grapefruit peel was literally that freaking thick okay and the grapefruit inside was lit was actually as small as it looked like in the pictures and but taste wise it, wise it was just fine and it tasted just like regular grapefruit nothing special there but <laughs> But I do have complaints about the new Kellogg's, uh, uh, what do you call that, choco laddu cereal that I just ate. So the Kellogg's uh, multigrain choco cereal laddu was horrible, you guys. First of all, they have uh, shrunk the size of the laddus. The laddus have become so much smaller. And second of all, um, th you could not taste any of the multigrain goodness whatsoever. It just tasted like sugar. And uh, it did not. So you guys, this is, I just wanted to uh, kind of like compare the taste of the cereal that I just had with, with, the, with the, the Kellogg's Hershey's Chocos. So these are not Kellogg's Hershey's Choco Laddus. These are just Kellogg's Hershey's Chocos, okay? And they are not multigrain and they are not Laddus and they actually taste, uh, are shaped like hearts instead of Laddus and uh, and they are not multigrain and uh, i was expecting the kellogg's uh, uh multigrain Her hershey's choco laddus to taste just like exactly like the kellogg's hershey's chocos i have tried the kellogg's hershey's chocos before and you guys these are amazing i was like really expecting that choco laddus would taste as good as this but it was but it was not like it they don't taste like as good as the hearts so you guys latest amazon unboxing is that i just bought myself these tiny little um boxes from amazon and the purpose of them their use is to help me organize all the extra pieces that i've been getting left over with from building all of the sets that i've i've built uh recently and uh, there are six of them and there are six of these boxes so finally i can get uh some of this uh, of the extra pieces that i have lying around uh, i can organize them and uh, clear up some space as well so they're a great find and i wish there was more of the of uh, um cute organize organizing uh kind of stuff on amazon so you guys i recently invested in a pair of like a, a super king sized satin bed sheets uh from this website called uh, what's it called stoa 
and uh, they're like some kind of rose gold color or something something like rose gold and then the reason why I invested in them is because I came to know from Instagram advertisements. I came to know about this brand from Instagram itself. And they claim that apparently, like, uh, these uh, satin bed sheets are, like, supposed to be really good for, like, your acne, like, your adult acne if you happen to have adult acne which i do and also really good for hair fall and uh, like uh, there was a couple of other things that they had mentioned but i can't remember you guys guess what i'm doing to my cheese i am chopping it into pieces and i am putting it in the fridge just like the way a murder a murderer stores its murder victims. All of this is cheese. And now I will have cheese that will be easy to use as opposed to something that is unusable. You remember this block of cheese that I got? It was this big, you guys like this big and i think i cut some of the paper off but it was even bigger it was this big like this it, it was literally a huge ass block of cheese you guys check out my latest fit it's like a vest top with shorts and then i happen to wear my yeezy slides with with like a braided elastic black belt and uh, and then i have a bandana which was non-returnable i ended up buying it from zara and it turned out to be non-returnable so i'm like stuck with it i had first thought that i would wear it with a straw hat and i did buy one from uh h&m but it was making me look like luffy from one piece the anime so i decided to not go with a straw hat and i ended up buying this bandana which i now wish i i had bought a black colored one but but zara won't exchange it or return it so i don't have an option and so you guys i was super exhausted today and i really wanted a break okay so it was because it is Janmashtami today i decided to go to alante and like get my car washed okay because i just recently came to know that there's so many car wash places at alante that will clean your car from inside and outside and wax it and polish it and professionally clean them for just three thousand three hundred rupees you guys and I was so stoked, you guys. Check out my motherfucker. Check out my motherfucker looking like as if it's brand new from the company. I just bought it today. So sexy as fuck, you guys. My car is looking. Okay. I got it done for the first time in my life. My Swift. Professionally cleaned. Before this, I only got my car cleaned one time. You guys lunch today is bean burrito with cheese melt grilled pineapples strawberry jam jalapeno nachos and uh, cherry cola and uh, blueberry flavored coco poco which is basically a shitty version of mogu mogu and uh, this is our awesome lunch today once i have eaten it i will update you about how it tasted the salsa was very spicy i hope it doesn't burn my mouth i did put some sweets on it so let's see how it goes So guess what I'm doing today, you bitches, okay? So I've been looking at recipes for uh, uh, this uh, thing that I'm making 
for a couple of years now but uh, but i only thought of like actually trying it like uh, two weeks back okay but then i was just too busy doing legos so i didn't get the time so but today i'm taking the time to make this recipe so this is a recipe for homemade vegan meat okay meat vegan meat and uh, so it's called seitan okay so what you do is take your regular atta that you make chapatis with you knead it and then you turn it into these knots and then you shallow fry it and then you boil it in broth okay broth with anything that you want to season it with like flavor so you guys now we are going to boil it for i think like uh one or two hours i don't know how many hours we're going to boil it and then you guys we're going to cool it okay after taking it out from the broth we are going to cool it down for a couple of hours and then we can once it gets cooled then we can put it in the fridge and use it whenever and however we want to okay and we can save this broth that we have made for the next time for the next time we make seitan we can we can save it for the next time so this is how it's going to be and uh, so i'll be like eating it today whenever however whenever it gets done and uh, let's see how it tastes because this is the first time i'm trying it maybe i got it wrong i don't really know how good it's going to be so let's see you guys instagram ad unboxing guess what i have over here today i just purchased myself from instagram advertisements the latest viral uh, shark blanket and uh, you guys this is this it it is a shark and it's it is a blanket and you basically put yourself in through the mouth okay and your arms go into the fins and your feet go into the legs and you guys they did not have options for like a, what do you call that sizes and i tried it on and it just about fits me like you know i i could have used a couple of sizes bigger but it does fit me at least and you guys it came sealed vacuum sealed in its bag and it is super cool and this is my halloween costume this is what i'll be doing on halloween today at so you guys at this point the seitan has been boiling in the broth for 2 hours now and uh, uh, so that is like supposed to be like you know enough you know so i have to now cool it to room temperature it has to cool down to room temperature and i don't know if i'm supposed to cool it down to room temperature inside the broth or outside the broth the instructions weren't clear anyway but it did say that uh, that the best for the best results after cooling it to room temperature you are supposed to chill it in the fridge refrigerator not freezer overnight inside the broth okay uh i will be doing this step um but uh i will not be doing it inside the broth though uh i don't know why but i just will and uh, so now i just have to cool it and then so you guys my seitan is cooked okay and it's uh and it a uh, pretty much an hour after it was done it was already cooled off and it was at room temperature but i just wanted to show you a picture of it and you guys uh, it does not taste good and uh, i don't know if i'll be able to use it or not and i ended up making so much i should have just like made one batch but i ended up making four now i don't know if i'll eat it or use it or not but uh, also i'm very confused how to store it because the video online said that you should like freeze uh, you should put it in the refrigerator inside the broth but i don't want to put it inside the broth so i'm like um how do i store it i'm con anyway you guys check what i scored on amazon you guys cheetos mac and cheese 
एंड चीटोस मैक एंड चीज फ्लेम इन हार्ट यू गाइस इट्स अ ड्रीम कम ट्रू टू बी एबल टू ईट इट I've been trying to get my hands on it forever and it was finally on Amazon and I got them so you guys soon we'll be trying them out I've already had dinner today or like lunch or whatever the hell so I'm not going to cook them today but whenever I do uh you guys I hope they taste as good as I think they do you know guys guess what i copped from amazon today okay we have got ourselves a label maker if you can see that this is a label maker with alphabets in it and i just made my first label for the mars rover extra pieces box and you guys it it reads mars rover except i did not get the a right the a happens to be the a wrong a this is the first a uh, first sticker that i made and i did not get it right this is uh, it, instead of mars rover it reads ars rover a r s ars rover and the rover part did not come out properly the a, only the a came out right so you guys now i am going to label all of the extra pieces of all of the sets that i recently got and uh, we will and you guys gets guess what else i copped from amazon today this is supposed to be a hair dry a uh, towel for just your hair drying uh, after you take a shampoo and it comes with a little elastic that attaches with a button at the back side and basically when after you have shampooed you can roll your hair up and it will like uh, stay in this towel for uh, us all day until it dries or whatever but you guys the length is not long enough and i happen to have longer hair so uh but um, but i did get two pieces in in just like one set and uh, i really do like the idea of it so i think i'll be keeping it even if my hair is too long for it uh i'll just like maybe try to adjust it somehow what's for brunch on saturday morning you ask we have got chicken nuggets sausage beans cheese melt and coco poco you guys rate my meal and tell me if it's sexy or not meow meow uh let's try it you guys let's try it mm What's for Saturday night dinner you ask? We have got multigrain burger with fries, onion rings, veggie patty, cheese melt, barbecue sauce, hot sauce, cherry cola and a fruit rocher for dessert. And that's how a killer Saturday night dinner is done. No week is complete. without a burger i would have liked to make a whopper but there's no whoppers out here you don't even get buns for them and you don't even get patties for them so i just have to eat regular burger plus on top of it i the only bun that i found was a multi grain bun like spit multi grain bun anyway i'm going to enjoy my dinner now What's for brunch on Sunday morning? You ask. Potato waffles, beans, cheese melt, 
hot sauce. Coco Poco. This is how an awesome Sunday morning brunch is done. Learn something. Let's taste it. The potato waffles got scrambled in the in the waffle maker. It doesn't even taste like it's hot. It's all cold. I just made it and it's all cold. But it tastes good. When you're sad and the only thing that can make it nice is kitty. Sup bitches. Guess what I bagged at Puma today. You guys are just going to die when you see the Puma Rip and Dip collab sneakers with our Lord Nirmal throwing fingers you guys it is throwing fingers i don't know if you guys remember but back in back since 2018 or 19 i have been drawing lord R nirmal everywhere in my house you guys and then we have got a t-shirt with nirmal throwing fingers inside the t-shirt pocket i'll have to open it to show you and then unfortunately i made a double order or, and i have to return the double order and then you guys we have got ourselves a pair of pants with a zip with a zip jacket a uh, shirt jacket whatever you call it and a t-shirt you guys rate my rip and dip fit you guys i was going to wear it after i took a shower but today but i did not have the patience obviously and i had to slip myself in right exactly as i got the shit and you guys check that out we have got lord nirmal throwing fingers you guys lord nirmal throwing fingers you guys inside of my shirt pocket inside of my shirt pocket oh, you guys oh it's obviously a little bit too warm like the season is a little bit you know I, I need to i will be whipping this outfit out in the winter and this is not the best season for it but you guys Guess where I'm at today, you miserable fucking cunts. I am in Kosoli for the second time, all by myself. <laughs> the first time around, I came here with my Thar. The second time around, I came here on my Swift for the first time. And you guys, this is what I've been doing <laughs> on my trip so far. I bought my, ca my cats, a baby chick. And you guys, I have got myself take away paneer parantha in my bag you guys unfortunately it's a very cloudy day and you cannot see any scenic views of the city below and the lights because of the clouds but it's okay it is still worth coming here anyway you know it's just coming here is just you know Guys, when it's 7.30 p.m. in Kasoli and you're the only one walking around on the trails and so you decide to get this one puppy to follow me until I go back to my car safe and sound and in one piece. And then I will give him all of my paneer parantha that I have packed in my bag as a reward for escorting me through the night alone. Oh. 
Oh, check him out. You guys, check out my cat's playroom. So you guys, my face wash was finishing and I just ordered myself uh, a face wash from Faye. Um, they usually do makeup, but uh, recently they also started doing like skincare. So they have like this no BS face wash, okay? I still have not tried it, but once I try it, I will know better. And then you guys, they sent me a free SPF sunscreen which is uh, 50, which has like 50 sunscreen power. And uh, they say that it's like they, they wanted, they sent it to me for free because they say that this is like their best selling product. So they really wanted me to try a sample. And they gave me, you guys, a free coupon for uh, this uh, place called the House of Chicken Curry to buy a chicken kurta <coughs> from which I don't think I'll be using. You guys, when Hershey's Choco's hearts are officially in store. You guys, I'm about to share with you a recipe that I saw on the internet. You guys, this recipe's special reality is that when you buy a pack of tortilla wraps you always end up buying more wraps than you can ever finish so in this case we had six wraps and i ended up eating three and now three are just left and getting wasted so what this recipe is that you can take a wrap put it on the base of your baking dish a dish that you can use for baking and then you put a layer of refried beans on top of it okay and then you take some meat of your choice like a meat okay in my case i'm a vegetarian so i'm trying out the seitan that i made a couple of weeks and seitan happens to be a vegan meat that is made out of wheat flour flour okay and yes you guys this was the seitan that and you guys, for those of you who are wondering that, oh my god, what is this shit? You are correct. This this seitan tastes just as bad as it looks. And But you guys, it was my first attempt at, at making seitan. So uh, it's understandable that it did not turn out as good as it was supposed to be. But anyway, I'm still going to give it a shot and see because there's going to be a lot of other ingredients in this dish. And I'm going to see that maybe it will be able to cover the taste of the seitan. So what you do is over here, you take your wrap, you put a layer of beans, a layer of seitan, a layer of cheese. This is cheese, not ice cream. And then basically you you keep repeating it and, and make a lasagna like a lasagna. And then you bake it. So basically this is like a Mexican wrap, tortilla wrap, lasagna. Okay. So you guys, this is our Mexican tortilla bake over here. Um, I'm only going to try one quarter of it to see if it doesn't taste like good or not. But anyway, like fingers crossed, I put some hot sauce on it. And also like after, after I shot, finished shooting the last video, it's like uh, what I did was that I made the, the seitan that I was frying in the pan. I like literally made it as thin and crispy as bacon so that it would become like, you know, really like a uh, like crispy bacon to make it not taste bad and to save like as much of like you know so that this dish does not taste as bad as it like you know anyway so we have some coke some coca poca and whatever else that we're going to be drinking with our uh lasagna so you guys mexican tortilla lasagna review okay so you guys this dish has turned out to be unexpectedly more edible than i was expecting it to be originally and uh, the fact that i turned the seitan that i was frying into crispy bacon really saved the dish 
uh, a lot and uh, you guys it actually sort of like um, kind of happens to be a little bit tastier because the seitan tastes like fried bacon i mean it doesn't taste like it but it happens to be like fried bacon so uh you guys uh, the seitan that i have made may not be edible otherwise but using it like fried bacon is definitely going to you know uh save it from getting thrown in the dustbin and uh, you guys guys when it's 15 september and you can finally open the doors of the house instead of blasting air conditioner and play some light lofi what what was for breakfast on sunday morning you ask tim hortons pancake plus coffee combo times 2 when every time you go to tim hortons and order something and they say it's out of stock but then you go to zomato and order the same thing and it's never out of stock the magic of internet you guys What what's for dinner on Sunday evening you ask You guys Cheetos mac and cheese bold and cheesy trying it for the first time ever creamy cheesy and oh so easy to love made with authentic cheesiness let's unbox them you guys pasta is in the bowl cheese is outside you guys water goes in You guys, Cheetos mac and cheese review time. It's too good. I don't have time for a review. You guys, I bought some awesome as fuck snacks last night from the twenty four seven store. I wasn't feeling sleepy, so I was just driving around all over the place, and then I stopped by at the twenty four seven and I saw some really cool, awesome shit to buy. And you guys, we have got veggie mellows. They're like from Spain or something, and I was trying to look for like the expiration date on the pack, but there's no expiration date. At least I couldn't see it, and then they. taste a little expired and then we have like this new brand which is not international it's a local brand and they happen to come with turtle chips you guys and they're like they had a mexican lime flavor which i thought was super awesome and i'm hoping that it tastes like takis and i'm like expecting to eat it today and see how it tastes i still haven't tried it and uh, you guys and then you have this middle eastern melon milk drink you guys it was pretty decent i liked it and then you guys there 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 was like this uh sparkling red grape uh drink and uh, um normally these drinks come like this like you know they happen to sort of like be a concentrate and then you dilute it with like sparkling water but like uh, this i'm not 100% sure if it's pre diluted or not <clears throat> so uh, i still have to try it to check whether how it tastes and how it goods how good it is but like you know this is basically just it seems like this so um i've had this stuff in the past it's pretty good <clears throat> and i'm glad that it comes in bottles like this instead and you don't have to like you know uh, like 
buy do and do your own mixing and shit so and then what's up bitches guess where i am you guys today i like went to 26 sector just to do some little pimping of my thar so uh, like i had bought this uh, magnetic phone mount for my uh, for my thar and i used the exact same one for my swift except like you know when i use, when i bought it for my thar it was like uh, this surface was the dashboard of the thar was like just not it was not sticking so anyway so i like got this installed and then you guys we have got some super little details i have a reflective sticker when like for when i open the door plus i have a door guard over here and then you guys i happen to have reflect reflective stickers on my tires just like the way i put on my bicycle except the ones that i bought for my bicycles they got removed because they were sticking or because they were interfering with the brakes so these ones and then you guys door guard you guys reflective sticker plus you guys even on the back door i have got two reflective stickers and two door guards and you guys i am not and the next thing that i'm going to do today is like i got my back seat completely unscrewed and i will be completely removing my back seat and that will be a video for another day when you will get to see afterwards after i have removed my back seat even my back tire has reflective stickers check that out 1 2 3 and 4 You guys, Saturday morning breakfast at Timbe's. Pancakes, cream cheese bagel, double double latte. You guys, Saturday night dinner. We have got some black beer. We have got some veggie mellows. We have got some chocolate. We have got some ramen. We have got some cheeses. We have got some. lays salted chips and basically we have just fucking made a kind of a trail mix that we are going to have saturday night dinner rate my saturday night dinner you guys I have come to the conclusion that enough is enough. It is time to make Cheetos mac and cheese flaming hot for dinner today. You guys, I cannot wait any more to eat this most amazing Cheetos mac and cheese flaming hot flavor that I have ordered. and has been sitting in my kitchen waiting for the perfect moment to arise for me to eat it but i just don't care now i don't give a shit i have to eat it now and i'm going to eat it today you guys pasta check sauce check it's boiling guys review time we have ourselves a little cola we have a frere rocher we have a lint and uh, now we're going to taste it's a bit hot you guys really spicy oh my god Oh my god. Oh my god. It is really spicy. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that is really spicy. Oh, good. But it's good. I think I can eat it. I don't think it'll be like... I can't eat it spicy. It's, it's, but it is genuinely spicy. Like, you know, I just want to say... I was not expecting that because usually, like, I have had flaming Hot Cheetos and they're not spicy at all. At least I don't consider the Cheetos spicy, but the pasta is spicy, you guys. It's a good shit. You guys, it is time to whip out. Dun, 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 dun. Shoot for the stars. Oh, hell yeah, you guys. This one went so far. It literally hit like that thing, the stabilizer of the AC. It totally hit it, you guys. It totally hit it. This time I really got it. Yeah. Guys, I'm finally drinking it, the sparkling red grape drink, you guys. It tastes fine, it does not need to be diluted.